A reading from the book of Tobit. Grief stricken in spirit, I, Tobit, groaned and wept aloud. Then with sobs I began to pray. You are righteous, O Lord, and all your deeds are just. All your ways are mercy and truth. You are judge of the world. And now, O Lord, may you be mindful of me and look with favor upon me. Punish me not for my sins, nor for my inadvertent offenses, nor for those of my ancestors. We sinned against you and disobeyed your commandments. So you handed us over to plundering exile and death, till you made us the talk and reproach of all the nations among whom you had dispersed us. Yes, your judgments are many and true in dealing with me as my sins and those of my ancestors deserve. For we have not kept your commandments, nor have we trodden the path of truth before you. So now, deal with me as you please, and command my life breath to be taken from me, that I may go from the face of the earth into dust. It is better for me to die than to live, because I have heard insulting calumnies, and I am overwhelmed with grief. Lord, command me to be delivered from such anguish. Let me go to the everlasting abode. Lord, refuse me not, for it is better for me to die than to endure so much misery in life and to hear these insults. On the same day at Ikbatana in Media, it so happened that Raquel's daughter, Sarah, also had to listen to abuse from one of her father's maids, for she had been married to seven husbands, but the wicked demon Asmodeus killed them off before they could have intercourse with her, as it is prescribed for wives. So the maid said to her, You are the one who strangles your husbands. Look at you. You have already been married seven times, but you have had no joy with any one of your husbands. Why do you beat us? Is it an account of your seven husbands because they are dead? May we never see a son or daughter of yours. The girl was deeply saddened that day and she went into an upper chamber of her house where she planned to hang herself. But she reconsidered, saying to herself, No, people would level this insult against my father. You had only one beloved daughter, but she hanged herself because of ill fortune. And thus I would cause my father in his old age to go down to the netherworld laden with sorrow. It is far better for me not to hang myself, but to beg the Lord to have me die, so that I need no longer live to hear such insults. At that time then, she spread out her hands and facing the window, poured out her prayer. Blessed are you, O Lord, merciful God, and blessed is your holy and honorable name. Blessed are you in all your works forever. At that very time, the prayer of these two suppliants was heard in the glorious presence of the Almighty God. So, Raphael was sent to heal them both to remove the cataracts from Tobit's eyes so that he might see God's sunlight and to marry Raquel's daughter Sarah to Tobit's son Tobiah and then drive the wicked demon Asmodeus from her.
responsorial psalm. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. In you I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies exult over me. No one who waits for you shall be put to shame. Those shall be put to shame who heedlessly break faith. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark Then they sent to him certain of the Pharisees and the Herodians, so that they might make use of his words to take him by a trick. And when they had come, they said to him, Master, we are certain that you are true, and have no fear of anyone. You have no respect for a man's position, but you are teaching the true way of God. Is it right to give taxes to Caesar or not? Are we to give or not to give? But he, conscious of their false hearts, said to them, Why do you put me to the test? Give me a penny, so that I may see it. And they gave him one. And he said to them, Whose is this image and name on it? And they said to him, Caesar's. And Jesus said to them, Give to Caesar the things which are Caesar's and to God the things which are God's. And they were full of wonder at him, and there came to him Sadducees, who say there is no coming back from the dead, and they put a question to him, saying, Master, in the law Moses says, if a man's brother comes to his end, and has a wife still living and no child, it is right for his brother to take his wife, and get a family for his brother. There were seven brothers, and the first took a wife, and at his death there were no offspring, and the second took her, and at his death there were no offspring, and the third the same, and all the seven had no seed. Last of all the woman herself came to her death. In the future life, when they come back from the dead, whose wife will she be? For the seven had her for a wife. Jesus said to them, Is not this the reason for your error, that you have no knowledge of the holy writings or of the power of God? When they come back from the dead, they do not get married, but are like the angels in heaven. But as to the dead coming back to life, have you not seen in the book of Moses, about the burning thorn tree, how God said to him, I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead, but of the living, you are greatly in error. The Sadducees were the priestly party of Israel. They were from the upper class of Jewish society and responsible for the administration of the temple. They were conservative in theology. Their big problem was they could not imagine of, of heaven beyond what they could see with their naked eyes. For them, the divine justice was administered in this age, not in the age to come. So, they rejected the belief of resurrection, nor the angels, while the Pharisees accept these beliefs. So, as usual, they came to test, but this time also to to ridicule Jesus, 
asking questions on resurrection, citing a situation of a woman who married the seven brothers. But Jesus answered them that they failed to understand what the scripture taught that there is a life after death and the structure of this life should not be applied after resurrection for they will be like angels in heaven and God is not a God of the dead but the God of the living the Sadducees being in a priestly party and the administrators of the temple must be knowledgeable enough to the, of the scriptures, but they allow themselves to be blinded by the truth that the scripture teach. This is a reality that also happens to us. We can call ourselves as practicing Catholics because we base that belief in attending Mass every Sunday and belonging to a religious group that practices praising God, prayer, and other religious activities. Indeed, it is true, but our being Christians goes beyond these practices. We need to deepen what we know. We need to understand why do we do what we are doing. In this way, we can grow one step higher in our Christian life. Sometimes, we can't recognize spiritual realities because we are used to believe what we can see. If crises in life come, we easily get discouraged and we ask, Why is this happening to me, when in fact I have been a very faithful Christian? We fail to see what is the meaning behind the experience. Jesus in today's Gospel is telling us that God is a spirit so there is so much to ponder and understand in our spiritual life. In our first reading, Tobit teaches us to see the message of God in our life's experiences. Instead of blaming God, he admitted his sinfulness and asked God's help in his situation. Let us also learn to look beyond what we can see. Prayer from the Woman's Day dot com When evil darkens our world, give us light. When despair numbs our soul, give us hope. When we stumble and fall, lift us up. When doubts assail us, give us faith. When nothing seems sure, give us trust. When ideals fade, give us vision. When we lose our way, be our guide that we may find serenity in your presence and purpose in doing your will. Amen.